Hi, welcome back. This is a quick video showing the transfer ports. Uh, these two fittings here going to the bottom of your carburetor. The idea for these is it gets the fuel that would normally puddle in this part of the carburetor here uh, when you do small throttle openings and the pump jet doesn't actually clear the throttle disc so anything up to about that, uh, the fuel will hit the back, of the back of the disc and then just dribble down and it will pull around here. So what we do is we drill a small hole, two and a half mil, at approximately this angle. It's not at 90 degrees, but it's trying to pick up fuel that would be at the bottom of the barrel of the carb and then it's slightly further up here to give clearance on these fittings if you're running a charge cooler. If you're not running a charge cooler, you probably don't need to worry about it so much. Uh, but yeah, normally I would drill this um, two and a half mil uh, for the first part, and then for the threaded section, which is an M6, just um, about six mil in, and then thread it to M6. And then there'll be link pipes going from each barrel of the carburetor uh, so this side will go across to here and this side carburetor will go to here and that will just make throttle response crisper uh, and the chances of fuel puddling or if any fuel leaks out of your carburetor this will make sure that there's no residual liquid fuel in the lowest point of the carb. So those are now drilled. You can see the two holes just at the bottom there. They are threaded for these. So we're just gonna seal those up with a little bit of Loctite and bolt it up to the carb. And once the carb is bolted up, you can push the pipes in. These are like quick release plumbing fittings. So just push the pipe in. It's four millimeter OD, pneumatic tube. And if you want to release, you just push the collar back and extract the pipe. And if you've done your calculations correctly, you should still have access to the charge cooler hose there. So you can push the hoses on and this fitting doesn't get in the way. Um, these will just push out the way, it doesn't need to be really tight. What we're trying to do is make sure we don't get any kinks in the pipe, so don't cut it too short. The rock cover will sort of push against that slightly, but it won't kink it. If you try and make the pipes too short, it will kink. Uh, and that is the bypass hose pipe video. Hope that was informative uh, for your DIY kit, or these are fitted on all of the kits that I manufacture. Thanks for watching.